There is growing concern tonight for what happened to a young woman before her body was found on the side of a road. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Katz. And I'm Haley Harrison. Only on nine, two groups are pleading for justice, holding a vigil for 16 year old Jamie Hernandez Zubia. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson is live at police headquarters with people who are begging police to find the killer. Absolutely, they want justice. It was nearly one week ago that Kansas City, Kansas police officers recovered that truck that they were looking for in connection to Jamie's death. Still, no arrests, and now people don't want this girl's memory to slip away a second time. Father God, we come to you right now. They pray for a person they never knew, fearing what 16 year old Jamie Hernandez may have faced in the final three years of her short life. If someone's clothing her, feeding her, letting her take a shower in their home, providing her with some any type of basic human need, they could exploit her for that. They exploit these youth that are homeless all the time. Christy Childs knows what it's like to live on the streets. She runs an organization called Veronica's Voice. It serves 500 people each year that are sexually exploited in the metro. A vulnerable youth out on the streets could be used as a mule to carry drugs. I mean, there's all different kinds of things she could be being used for. But that was the possibility that she could have been used sexually as well. Jamie's body was found on the side of the road. She hadn't been seen in three years. Children are falling through the cracks of the system. We have a problem. Because this, this, this child, Jamie, her name is Jamie, she fell through the cracks. How that happened, we don't know, but we do have a problem. It needs to be addressed. For those at this vigil, we remember them. What's most worrisome is what kind of slave she might have been during the final years of her life. And this afternoon, we reached out to Kansas City, Kansas police to get an update on the investigation. We did not hear back. So far, no one has been arrested in connection with her death. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kansas, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And if you have any information about where Jamie was for the last three years or about her death, call the TIPS hotline at number 816-474-TIPS.